In Marriage and Money today, top attorney Gemma Allen sees signs that the wedding industry just might be getting a boost. Here's why. Hi, I'm Gemma Allen. We all love the movie The Wedding Crashers, where the stars were pretending to have been invited to a wedding, but were really only there for the party. That concept has been taken to an extreme nowadays, where the wedding itself is not really real or at least does not involve a legally binding commitment. Increasingly, couples have decided to celebrate their commitment by throwing a faux but non-legal wedding. It's highlighted by a big party. In Argentina and in South America, fake weddings have become a thriving business, with one production company preparing to expand the concept to China, Mexico, and here. Guests pay a fee to attend, then watch a short pretend ceremony before heading off to the bar, the buffet, and the dance floor. Sometimes the guests don't even know the fake bride and groom. In the United States, mock wedding events can already be set up in Vegas, of course, and some weddings without an authentic bride and groom are already here. Charities in cities from Chicago to Denver and beyond are now hosting fake weddings as a really fun way to raise funds. So like it or not, faux weddings are here to stay. Admittedly, it's a different pathway to love and commitment and largely untested. But hey, even the wedding crashers had a happy ending. I'm Gemma Allen, thanks for watching.